Did you ever feel like a dark cloud is following you everywhere you go, pouring rain on your parade? It's a sensation that many of us might be familiar with. This pervasive feeling of sadness, lack of interest, and constant fatigue is more than just a passing mood. It's a serious medical condition known as depression. Depression affects every individual differently. For some, it's an overwhelming sense of sadness that never seems to lift. For others, it's a constant feeling of emptiness or a lack of interest in activities they once enjoyed. It can make every day feel like a struggle, and even the simplest tasks can seem insurmountable. If you're experiencing these feelings, it's crucial to seek professional help. There's no shame in reaching out. Mental health professionals are trained to help you navigate these difficult waters, providing the necessary support and guidance. Depression is a serious matter, but remember, there are ways to overcome it. Depression often creeps up on us, disguising itself as just a bad day or a rough patch. But it's much more than that. It's a persistent feeling of sadness, a lack of interest in activities once enjoyed, and a constant battle with fatigue. Some people may experience changes in appetite or sleep patterns, while others might grapple with feelings of worthlessness or excessive guilt. It's not uncommon for individuals battling depression to have difficulty concentrating or making decisions. In severe cases, there may even be recurrent thoughts of death or suicide. Remember, it's not just about feeling blue. Depression seeps into every aspect of life, from your mental state to your physical well-being. It's a constant, uninvited guest that overstays its welcome, making it difficult to function at work, at school, or in your personal relationships. Recognizing depression is the first step towards overcoming it. Depression is not a battle you need to fight alone. This is an emphatic truth that cannot be overstated. The journey to overcoming depression often begins with reaching out for help. And the good news is there are many professionals out there trained specifically to assist you on your path to healing. Mental health professionals come in all shapes and sizes, each with their own unique approach and area of expertise. Let's take a moment to discuss a few of the types of professionals you might consider reaching out to. Firstly, we have psychologists. These are professionals who typically focus on talk therapy. They help you understand your feelings, thoughts, and behaviors, and guide you through strategies to manage and cope with your depression. They don't prescribe medication, but they can work in tandem with those who do, to ensure a holistic approach to your treatment. Next, we have psychiatrists. Unlike psychologists, psychiatrists are medical doctors who can diagnose mental health conditions and prescribe medication. They can also provide psychotherapy and they often work closely with psychologists to manage your treatment plan. Then there are therapists. The term therapist is a broad one, encompassing a range of professionals including social workers, counselors, and marriage and family therapists. These professionals provide various forms of therapy, from cognitive behavioral therapy to interpersonal therapy all aimed at helping you navigate your mental health challenges. Now, you might wonder, which professional should I see? Well, the answer to that largely depends on your unique situation and needs. Each professional brings something different to the table, and it's important to find the one that fits you best. Don't be afraid to do a bit of research, ask questions, or even try out a few different professionals to see who you feel most comfortable with. Remember, reaching out for help is not a sign of weakness, but rather a testament to your strength and resilience. It's an acknowledgement that you're human, and sometimes we humans need a bit of help. So don't hesitate to seek out the assistance you need. Reaching out for help might be hard, but it's a crucial step in your journey to overcoming depression. Depression isn't a one-size-fits-all condition, and neither is its treatment. No two people experience depression in the same way, and therefore, treatment must be tailored to your individual circumstances. There are several options available, and it's important to understand that what works best for one person may not work as well for another. One common method of treatment is psychotherapy, often referred to as talk therapy. This involves discussing your thoughts and feelings with a trained mental health professional. There are various types of psychotherapy, including cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps individuals reframe negative patterns of thought and interpersonal therapy, which focuses on improving relationships. Medication can also play a crucial role in treating depression. Antidepressants work by balancing chemicals in your brain that affect mood and emotions. However, it's important to remember that medications can take several weeks to take full effect and they can have side effects. Always consult with your doctor before starting or changing a medication regimen. 
In addition to these, lifestyle changes can significantly impact your mental health. Regular physical activity, a healthy diet, adequate sleep, and reducing alcohol and caffeine consumption can all play a part in managing depression. Another treatment option is electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT. This is generally used for severe depression that hasn't responded to other treatments. It involves a brief electrical stimulation of the brain while the patient is under anesthesia. Finally, there's the increasingly recognized role of self-care. This can involve anything from meditation and yoga to keeping a gratitude journal or simply taking time each day for activities you enjoy. Remember, it's not about finding a quick fix, but rather a comprehensive, long-term strategy that works for you. It's also important to keep in mind that treatment doesn't always mean a complete absence of depressive symptoms. Rather, it's about managing these symptoms so they don't control your life. Finding the right treatment might take time, but remember, each step you take is a step towards recovery. Scene script. Medication can be a useful tool in the fight against depression, but it's not without its caveats. Just as depression is not a one-size-fits-all condition, the medications used to treat it vary widely. There are several types of medication often prescribed for depression, including selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, and atypical antidepressants. Each of these works a little differently to help balance the chemicals in your brain that affect mood and emotions. However, all medications, including those for depression, come with potential side effects. These can range from mild annoyances like dry mouth or nausea to more serious issues like weight gain or sexual dysfunction. Not everyone will experience these side effects, and for many, they subside over time. It's also important to remember that these potential side effects need to be weighed against the potential benefits of the medication. Now, it's crucial to remember that these medications should be taken as directed by a healthcare professional. This means taking the correct dosage at the right times and not stopping or changing your dosage without consulting your doctor. Abruptly stopping these medications can lead to withdrawal symptoms, and changing your dosage without guidance can make your symptoms worse. This brings us to an important don't, self-medication. It can be tempting to try to manage your symptoms on your own with over-the-counter remedies or substances like alcohol or drugs. However, this can be dangerous and often makes symptoms worse in the long run. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new medication, even if it's something you think is harmless. Medication can help, but it's not a magic pill. It's part of a comprehensive treatment plan. The journey to overcoming depression often involves more than just medication. It's a process that, that might include therapy, lifestyle changes, and support from loved ones. But by understanding the do's and don'ts of medication, you're taking an important step in that journey. Overcoming depression isn't just about professional help and medication, it's about daily coping strategies too. Now let's dive into some of these strategies that can be incorporated into your day-to-day -day life. A great starting point is regular exercise. It doesn't have to be strenuous. Just a brisk walk around the block can boost your mood by releasing endorphins, your body's natural feel-good chemicals. Next, maintaining a balanced diet can also play a pivotal role. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fish and walnuts and folic acid like spinach and avocado can help ease depressive symptoms. And let's not forget about mindfulness techniques. These can range from simple breathing exercises to more structured practices like yoga or meditation. By focusing on the present moment, mindfulness can help you break free from the cycle of negative thoughts that fuel depression. Incorporating these strategies into your daily life can help you regain control and start feeling better. Overcoming depression may seem like a daunting task, but remember, you are not alone. This journey may seem uphill, but every step taken is a step towards hope and healing. Recognizing depression is the first step. It's crucial to understand what you're going through and acknowledge that it's okay to not feel okay. Seeking professional help is not a sign of weakness, but a step towards strength. Every individual is unique, and so is their journey with depression. This is why personalized treatment plans are key. They cater to your specific needs and help you navigate your way through this. When it comes to medication, it's essential to follow the guidance of your healthcare provider. Not every medicine is suitable for everyone. It's about finding what works best for you. Coping strategies such as mindfulness, exercise, and connecting with others can also play a vital role in your recovery. Depression is a tough adversary, but with the right help and strategies, you can overcome it. 
Remember, it's okay to ask for help.